Tech Live got an exclusive peek inside the company and an exclusive preview of the game itself. Fair warning, Reed, get closer to your TV screens. Tonight's hot topic contains some graphic video. Inside this tiny office in Tucson, Arizona, game developers at Running With Scissors perch atop a sharpened blade of free speech. The twisted minds. This is the cat silence. Behind one of the most obscene. Oh, here's the gay bar. Let's take a look in there. Give him a little zap action. Cool. What the? You know the fat slug. Violent video games around, and company CEO Vince Desi makes no apologies. You have to understand, the violent content in Postal 2 is so over the top, it is so absurd, it is so ridiculous that anybody who takes it serious belongs in an institution. So violent, so racist, even homophobic, that at least four countries are considering banning it, since players can gruesomely kill African Americans and homosexuals. But Desi dismisses the controversy. He says the game's 150 unique characters cut across every group. Equal opportunity, murder, mayhem. And everyone can fight back. The cross-section of Americana, if you will. And Vince Desi will tell anybody who will listen he's not a racist, he's not a homophobe, he doesn't hate anybody, and he makes no excuses for any of the violence. But some psychologists say this isn't about Vince Desi. It's about the half million people who are expected to buy this game when it finally hits store shelves. It's not something I'd want a lot of kids to have or see. Dr. Dennis Embry says while violent movies and TV shows are passive entertainment, game playing is active. That's far more dangerous, he says, especially for young children. Young children tend to copy the games. They see it, they go out and do it when they're playing out on the playground. We're telling parents, this is not for your kids. Back to Vince Desi, who says, get over it. The game is made for adults, clearly labeled for adults, not for kids, period. Guess what? You should really know what's going on in your kid's room. Parents need to take responsibility. Now, Vince Desi, who proudly pointed out that his own stepson is gay, has enjoyed some support among a few experts in the psychology community. Some researchers say fantasy violence is actually good for people, giving them an outlet for their aggression without actually having to hurt anybody.